You are now Pickle Inspector. Look around the room. You examine your surroundings. Your door is blocked by something. Judging from the marks on the door, it looks like you attempted to open it with some sort of weapon. There is a hairpin on the floor. Pick up the hairpin. You equip the hairpin. Okay, sweet. Armed with the machine gun, you are an unstoppable murdering machine. The heavy weapon is perfect for sating that burning desire to fill something with hot lead. <laughs> you drop the machine gun. Your Vim characteristic is way too low to carry around such a heavy object. Take a look out the hole in the door. A trombone is wedged between the door and the wall. The horn is really rusty. It could use some serious polishing. Replace the cover on the elf picture. It bothers you. You try to push the safe closed, but it is too heavy. Your vim is not nearly high enough. You're not sure where the elf painting cover went. Perhaps an elf took it. Elves may or may not be real. Eat some Smarties to boost your vim. They are not Smarties. They are Tootsie Rolls. Pickle Inspector, become homoerotically interested in your fan. You attempt to woo your fan by turning it on. However, there is no electricity in your office presently. There is a card taped to the fan. Look at the card. You place the glass blower's ink card in your inventory. Andrew Hussey, become homoerotically interested in your fan. Mm -hmm. Andrew Hussey becomes aroused by fans of MS Paint Adventures. Way to break the fourth wall, numbskull. Problem sleuth, a stick, and pickle inspector? Dance. Yeah! A stick and problem sleuth. Examine rooms. You enter the back room. There are a couple of stills. One is for making illicit liquor during the Prohibition era. Another is for making another sort of substance, possibly also illicit. All of the liquor appears to have been stolen. There's some handgun bullets on the floor. There's also a target painted on the ceiling for some reason. Loud swing music and lively footsteps are heard from the room above. Problem Sleuth enters the back room. It appears to be a storage room for various instruments. Mysteriously, most of the instruments have been plundered from the room. Hung on the wall are portraits of some legendary jazz musicians. You regard them with awe. Loud swing music and lively footsteps are heard from the room above. Pickle Inspector, take a hearty swig from the mysterious bottles. The first bottle contains illicit moonshine. The second bottle contains hot sauce. <laughs> the third bottle contains your own excrement, saved up from prolonged office entrapment. You would take a swig from one, but you seem to have misplaced your handy drinking implement. A stick, load your keys and use them on the target on the ceiling. You pick up the handgun bullets. They're not compatible with your Tommy gun. You'll have to use the remainder of its ammo if you wish to fire it. Okay, fire the Tommy gun at the target. You point the ring of keys target wood. The room above is a busy speakeasy. The clients boisterously enjoy illicit libations. There is a bust of the speakeasy's owner, the mobster Kingpin. He is obviously the scourge of this pseudo-prohibition era universe. Nobody fucks with him. <laughs> Bullets pierce the floor in a semicircular pattern around the bust. The patrons flee in fright out the exit. The exit is now barred through some automated security mechanism, probably to prevent meddlesome coppers from barging in. The gunfire ignited the potent fumes from the stills. The room is on fire. The ring of keys is out of ammunition. Pickle Inspector, break the glass in the door, dislodging the trombone. You take a limp-wristed swing at the glass, but it seems there is no glass in the doorframe. You tumble through the opening. You are in a small room with an elf. The elf possibly guards the secrets and a switch behind him. Ask the elf for wishes. Your pulchritude is too low to command the loyalty of elves. 
leave. You exit the small room through the door. Search the room for your drinking implement. You find the rubber tube under your hat. Look for a container to siphon the liquid into. You retrieve the tea set from your fort. You had been keeping it in there to supplement your imaginative games of make-believe. Siphon some liquid. You siphon some of the hot sauce into the teapot. You siphon some of the illicit liquor into a teacup. You decide to leave the shit where it is. Take a sip of the hot sauce. You take a small sip from the teapot. Your vim is boosted. You begin to sweat profusely. Add the hairpin to your inventory. You equip the hairpin. The machine gun suddenly goes off. The lousy thing has a hairpin trigger. The bottles are shattered, leaving an unpleasant slurry all over the floor. You drop the machine gun. You are still too weak to wield it. It goes off again, and the volatile concoction catches fire. Your office is on fire. The skylight above jostles. It pops out of place to reveal a sprinkler, which has been activated by the smoke. The sprinkler douses the flames. The skylight dangles from its power cord, which is plugged into an outlet on the ceiling. The water cools you off. Your vim returns to normal. Problem sleuth, examine the plaques beneath the pictures. 1. Blind Willy Buttermilk Stubbs. 2. Father Blind Pappy Ramblin' Jackson. 3. Earl Stokes Can't See a Damn Molasses Fats. Such extraordinary jazz legends. They bring a tear to your eye. It seems that they're without their instruments, though. Problem Sleuth, play Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata on the piano. You can't remember the notes to that song! Instead, you play an improvised rendition of a classic Buttermilk Stubbs composition. Things are really starting to cook. Some icons beneath the plaques are revealed. Go down the stairs, attempt to open the door. A stick, go up the stairs, attempt to open the door. Both of the doors are blocked from the other side. It appears someone has wedged an elbow between the doors. A stick, drink some brandy and forget you're on fire. You imbibe heavily to drown your conflagrative sorrows. MC Hammer slide out of the room. Break it down! You enter your fort to escape the shrieking nightmare that has swallowed your life whole. Pickle Inspector, add the skylight to your inventory. You take the skylight. Drink some illicit moonshine and rush to your fort. Ooh. You take a sip. It only marginally boosts your already naturally high imagination stat. You will need to consume a much more powerful form of liquor if you wish to boost it much further. You duck into the fort to escape the freezing downpour. You hear your phone ringing from the other room. Problem sleuth, retrieve the clarinet, the trumpet, and the tuba from the secret room. You gather up the horns. Beneath the tuba is a cartridge of Tommy gun munitions. Use the instruments on their respective jazz legends. You supply the musicians with their horns. A switch appears on the wall. Throw the switch. The power is activated in Pickle Inspector's office. The fan turns on. The wind from the fan blows a safe shot. The power in Problem Sleuth's office shuts off. The phone is still ringing. Problem Sleuth, tell the dame on the phone to call back. Take a slug of whiskey. You answer the phone in a hard-boiled manner. You explain to the woman gruffly that you'd love to help her out, sweetheart. But you're up to your neck in all this weird puzzle shit. You hang up. Enter your fort. The dame explains into the dead receiver. 
Please don't go. She's been trapped in her apartment for hours and needs help. You enter your imaginary office, now with only two imaginary lives to spare. Try to be a little more careful this time. Exit your office. Ace Dick and Pickle Inspector are having a chat. You wonder if they're talking about you? Ace Dick, whisper to Pickle Inspector to rouse problem sleuth's curious suspicion. Ace Dick is whispering something to that lanky fellow. You smell a plot. Your mind furiously sets to work on a way to disrupt their connivings. Charge down the hall, shouting profanities and being silly. Fuck ass, prick shit, bastard, farts, cut, fuck shit, poop nose, fucking piece of flipping shit. This is the best plan you come up with. The other two, inspired by your magnificent paltritude. Rally around you as a leader and follow you towards the exit. You stop them, reminding them that there is a monster on the street and they are terribly ill-equipped for the battle. You will all need better armaments. Ask Pickle Inspector to conjure more powerful guns. Pickle Inspector nods sagely. He'll see what he can do. <coughs> Problem Sleuth is armed with the Candy Corn Handgun. <coughs> Ace Dick! is armed with the Tootsie Roll Shotgun. Pickle Inspector is armed with the Pez Uzi. Pose as a team because shit just got real. You copy and paste your previous poses into a new file and animate the background rapidly. Pickle Inspector, shoot a stick in the face. Exit and begin candy-oriented assault. The Great Beast is ready for battle with a replenished health bar. Fast-paced organ music and a haunting vocal chorus accompanies your epic struggle. The beast makes a preemptive assault on your party's leader. Your auto parry kicks in. You avoid the savage lunge with your sleuth roll. Problem sleuth, battle menu. You open your battle menu and select aggress. You fire your candy corn handgun at the monster. It takes heavy damage from the projectile treats. Pickle Inspector, battle menu. You follow Problem Sleuth's lead and riddle the beast with high-powered rounds of Pez. A stick, battle menu. You cock the Tootsie Roll shotgun and strike a brutal affront for massive damage. The beast is slain. Reap the spoils of battle. <laughs> Problem Sleuth gained a level. Imagination plus one. Pulchritude plus five. Vim plus one. Problem Sleuth accrued battle technique, Sleuth Diplomacy. Problem Sleuth can commune with the following animals. Weasels. A stick gained a level. Imagination plus zero. Pulchritude plus zero. Vim plus six. A stick increased stomach capacity by 0.4 liters. A stick increased stomach capacity by 0.5 liters. A stick increased stomach capacity by 0.75 liters. A stick achieved level 18 stomach prowess. A stick accrued combat operandi, belly of the whale. Pickle inspector gained a level. Imagination plus 10. Pulchritude plus 2. Vim plus 0. Pickle Inspector learned how to imagine the following items. Jawbreaker Cannon. Gummy Bear IED. Peanut Vittle Dumbwaiter. A stick gained a level. Imagination plus zero. Pulchritude minus three. Vim plus eight. A stick accrued battle technique. Level two truffle shuffle. The beast dropped artifact. Polished horn. Problem sleuth. Jump onto the monster's legs. The torso cavity is mushy and warm. It makes for a comfortable bucket seat. Use the legs like power armor and stroll around the city. <coughs> you go for a stroll. Pickle Inspector, examine the polished horn. Its luster is arresting, its mysteries unfathomable. You place the polished horn in your inventory. 
get the imaginary candy corn. You pick up the bag of candy corn. Comes from a peanut brittle dumbwaiter. <laughs> a stick, take the dog from the man. You take the ugly dog. Problem sleuth, summon the weasel king. You don't have enough elf tears to summon the weasel king. Pickle inspector, a stick, go up the dumbwaiter into a stick's window. You cannot go up the stairs to Ace's office. The path is blocked by a frightening beast. Problem sleuth, use your monster legs to jump up to your compatriots. Sensing your compatriots are in trouble, you decide to use your powerful legs to leap into battle. But something distracts you. A light coming from that storefront. And music. It's a dancer, spinning to the tune of a music box. An unfamiliar face looms large behind it. A stick, one word, belly of the whale. You would use your combat apparandi belly of the whale with gusto. However, your cache of elf tears is dry as a bone. <laughs> The beast makes an unexpected pounce. Ah. Pickle Inspector employs a successful auto parry with the technique Pickle Distraction. A stick, truffle shuffle, level two. You show the beast what you and fat kids everywhere are made of. The beast suffers minimal damage. You are slain. Problem sleuth, investigate the window. The dancer in the window stops spinning. The window goes dark. <laughs> Pickle inspector, imagine a jawbreaker cannon. Pickle Inspector, fire! <laughs> the Jawbreaker Cannon inflicts a savage upgrade for 100 times damage. The beast is defeated. <laughs> Pickle Inspector gained a level. Imagination, plus 12. Pulchritude, plus 1. Vim, minus 4. Pickle Inspector accrued battle technique, level 5 disconcerting ogle. The beast dropped artifact, burnished horn. Problem Sleuth, use your legs to imitate the creature's mating dance. You strut your stuff with some fancy footwork. You are slain. Beast, put on the hat. Pickle Inspector, take the horn. You acquire the burnished horn. Hurry upstairs. You speed toward Ace's office to make sure he's alright. Pickle Inspector's imaginary body cannot be sustained on the material plane. Pickle Inspector loses an imaginary life. Ace Dick is nowhere to be found. You are suffering the unpleasant aftermath of your imagination binge. The flames in the still room are dazzled by a large volume of vomit. Problem Sleuth quenches his hangover with the remainder of the coffee. 